hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And if somebody sent me this file, well, I ask them to. And I can see some gray areas. I can see some uh, that is not black. I know for a sure, for a fact that he's going to engrave this. And he kept saying when he would fill it in, it would. So I'm going to move the circles out of the way. Let's see how fast. Uh, I think it's 25 millimeters. So we're, we'll make it 30 millimeters. I am going to left click black. RGB black. Make it black. And you can tell. Let me just show you how you can tell. Look at the black of my black versus the black of his. So it's not an RGB black, black, or it's a, it is an RGB black, but it's, it's several fields. So there's a couple things we could do. We're going to go up to range and group and ungroup, and I'm going to take his hair and his beard and move them out of the way. Now let's do our yellow box trick, and we've got a transparency. Now there's some things in here that are hidden. So what we're going to do, we're going to left click red and see we got, we don't need that mustache. We don't need the face and we don't need his forehead. We need everything else. So now I'm going to left click no fill and right click black. And what it did, it turned all those little grays into lines. And we can also take our black now and turn our face black by left clicking and see the difference. Now, we don't really want all these grays because I'm going to show you why. We don't want this because that's a void in his glasses. We do, we do want his ears. But these little specks of gray are only going to cause you problems. Um, let's do this one. Let's turn it yellow for just a second and nudge it over. Well, I should have made it yellow. I should have made it red. Now you need that, but that little black is going to cause you problems because there's two, two sets of nodes there. So what I would do, and let me get rid of the yellow for a second so it won't be in our way. You've got this line. I know for a fact he's going to laser engrave this with a plasma or a fiber mark, fiber laser. I'm going to select both those. I'm going to go to range and combine, and it took that black line away. I'm going to do the same thing to this ear. If I can find that little spot for that ear, let's say it's that one right there. I'm going to turn it yellow for a second, or, you know, I can make it yellow this time, and it worked. And you could leave that off. It's not that big a deal. But let's make this black now and hold down the shift key and select the other one. And you can barely see that line between there. Let me see if I can zoom in. There's a little bit of a line between there. So with both of them selected, go to range and combine. And now that little bit of a line is gone. I think you're good to go. I would get rid of all these other little pieces of gray. You don't need them. I think the beard looks good. The hair looks good. I would use the smooth. This is where those gray spots were. If I know, I think he's got X8 and above. Let's make that a little bit, a little bit wider of a nib. Click on it and just kind of smooth that hair out a little bit. You have to be selected on it. That looks a little better. Wherever those gray pieces were, we're going to just not make it look bad, but uh, it's not perfect. So just kind of go over there. Now, if you do not have X8 or above, you can use the shape tool. And let's zoom in here. Grab the shape tool and let's try deleting that note and deleting that note. Now you've got a, and you might not want a perfect edge on there. You might want a little bit of a taper. I think everything else looks good. Uh, it's not going to matter. There's some double nodes there you could delete, make a little bit smoother transition. You could probably delete that one. Make that space between the glasses a little bit more. Delete that one. 
and I would mess around with these ears a little bit. Um, you know, they're not perfect. I'm going to go to the smoothing tool and I'm just going to smooth out this ear a little bit and smooth out this a little bit. Now they don't have to be perfect. It's not going to let me smooth it because it's probably combined together. Let's try clicking on it, go to range, break curve apart. Now the smoothing tool should work. It's actually two pieces. That doesn't look bad. And you could also, once you got one ear like it, uh, I do this all the time. You could delete that ear, control D and make a dupe. Control D and make a duplicate of that ear. Now you've also got your nudge factor set on. This is why I stress zero, zero. Because this is the real reason right here. You do not. There, I've never seen a reason to make it go up. So let's select that. Control D. Make a duplicate. Let's uh, mirror it the opposite direction. Holding down the control button and move it to that other side of the face. Maybe nudge it in a little bit. Now, these are black lines. So we're going to nudge them twice back over. Now I would always, before I finish, I make sure everything's transparent. And then I always do this. I hit F4 on the keyboard to make sure there's nothing else that I've left over here and over here. Because if you had a little bitty speck right there and you zoom in and think you're done, if you hit a F4, there's a reason it's over there. Even if it's transparent, it'll show up. So I think you're good to go. You could resize this to any size. Now, there's a little uh, side note right there. These are lines. Let's nudge them. Let's nudge the lines over. And 50 some points, but scale with object. 57.57, but scale with object. Now let's nudge it back. And now you can make this any size you want. And those lines will stay consistent in size, no matter how big you make this item. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.